In this video, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of big commerce and Amazon. We're gonna talk about which platform you should start selling things online today. So let's get started right away and let's talk about some of the pros of big commerce. And there's a lot. One, for one thing, it's built for e-commerce, which is great. I mean, technically Amazon's definitely built for e-commerce as well, but big commerce has some other benefits like you own everything. Now with Amazon, you don't really own the platform. Amazon owns the customers. Amazon owns the listing. Amazon owns everything. But with big commerce, it's your website. They're your customers. It's all, it's all up to you. There's no, there's no one that can ban you, uh, which we'll talk about more later. Amazon can ban you at any time. So that's another advantage for big commerce. Like I said, they're your customers on big commerce. Amazon, they're not your customers. If someone makes a purchase and buys something through Amazon, they hide the email data, they hide the address, they hide a lot of information. You get all that information which is very valuable because you can remarket to these people. Uh, if someone buys from you and you can say, hey, it's been three months since your last purchase, you know, here's a coupon code and bring customers back. So that's another advantage. Let's talk about some of the advantages though of Amazon and there, there's a lot of advantages with selling on Amazon as well. For instance, tons of traffic. If you have a big commerce website, you have a website, your own website of any kind, Trying to get customers to come to your website is very tough. On Amazon, there's already millions upon millions of people shopping on Amazon anyways, so it's much easier to get traffic to your listing. The next thing is, it's somewhat free. I mean, they do take a percentage of sales, and if you're gonna join certain FBA programs, there might be an upfront $40 a month fee, but for the most part, to get started, it's free to get started, you only pay fees after the fact. Uh, I mean, there's a little bit more details to this, but if you're really tight on a budget, Amazon might be a good option. Another thing is it's much easier to get started, at least kind of. With Amazon, all you really have to do is create a product page. All you have to up do, do is upload the title, the description, some images, a few other little tiny things, and you're good to go. With a big commerce website, you kind of have to start a whole website from scratch. I mean, they do have templates and they do make it very easy, but it's easier on Amazon without a doubt. So let's go over some of the cons. That's all the pros, but there's a lot of negatives to both big commerce and Amazon. So one of the negatives is startup cost. Getting a, starting a website, even if it's already as easy as big commerce makes it, is a challenge. And you're gonna have to pay a monthly fee, uh, a minimum of $30 a month. And then on top of that, you're going to probably have to hire someone to develop a logo, develop your website, all this other stuff. You can do it yourself, which I did for my first website to save a little bit of money but what you're saving in money, you are spending in time. So there is an advantage. Once again, Amazon's a lot quicker and cheaper to get up and running. You need to get traffic. With Amazon, like we said, there's millions of people already coming to the website. When you start your own website, you need to get people to actually come to the website, which isn't easy. I, a lot of people think that all I'm gonna do is start a website and I'm just gonna get a ton of sales and people are gonna love what I have to you know, say. No. In fact, this whole YouTube channel, my whole Effective E-commerce YouTube channel is geared around how to not only build e-commerce stores, but how to get traffic to your website. So you need to get traffic to your website when you start uh, with big commerce, as opposed to Amazon, um, they already are going to have a lot of traffic. But one of the negatives is they own your soul. So what do I mean by this? Obviously not literally, but if Amazon wants to kick you off, they can kick you off at any point. Let's say you violate any of their terms of services, you'll get kicked off. And this happens, this happens all the time. I just had a friend that got kicked off. He was only for a few hours, he was able to get it fixed, but he got lucky. Most people that get kicked off of Amazon get kicked off for months and months, or for good even sometimes. And there's a lot of other negatives we'll talk about too. Uh, a lot of rules, there's a lot of things that Amazon keeps kind of gray. They don't tell you explicitly to do this or not to do this and when you end up breaking a rule, they will kick you off. So there is a ton of rules around selling on Amazon. You gotta be very careful. Where with your own website, for the most part, as long as you're not doing anything illegal, you're fine. So that's another uh, advantage for big commerce, disadvantage for Amazon. There's a lot of fees. So selling from your own website, really there's only like a 2.3% credit card fee depending right around that range. When you sell on Amazon, it's at least I think 15% percent plus maybe up to 30 percent or more if you're doing fulfilled by amazon which i highly recommend doing so that's a big chunk and it might even be more than that 30 percent. so assume 30 to 40 percent of your money is gone so you're going to save a lot of money you're going to make a lot more money when you're selling with big commerce 
Once again, on Amazon, they are not your customers. And this is extremely important. A lot of what makes big commerce or Shopify or any of these other e-commerce platforms so valuable is you own the customers, you own the data, you can keep running promotions to them, you can come get them coming back, you can learn. Uh, you can look at your analytics and figure out what's working, what's not working, and try to iterate and make a better website with Amazon. It's their data, it's their customers. This is a huge negative that a lot of people don't think about early on. One last thing before we move on, you're more likely to get copied with Amazon. Amazon will copy you. Amazon will knock off your products. This happens all the time. Uh, for instance, this tripod that I'm recording from, I bought a second tripod. The first one I bought from an individual seller, the second one I bought, that listing was gone. And the reason was Amazon copied that product and had it as an Amazon basic. Not just that, other sellers are gonna copy your stuff much more often than if you sell on your own website. There's people that scrape Amazon and they just look through all the listings and they look for something to copy. And if you have it on your own website, you're a little bit more off the radar. Not impossible, if you have a successful company, people are still gonna copy you. That's just the nature of the game. But with Amazon, it seems to be a little bit more common. So which one of these two should you pick, Big Commerce or Amazon? Well, I'm gonna throw a little curveball in here and I'm gonna say Shopify, to be honest. I think that if you go with Shopify over Big Commerce, um, that isn't the end of the story. I think if you're looking at Big Commerce, you should at least be considering Shopify. And up here, if you click up here, I have a link to a video where I compared Big Commerce and Shopify, and a link to one where I compared Big Commerce or Shopify and Amazon. But that's not the full answer to the question. I think the truth is you should have your own website, your own Shopify or Big Commerce website, and Amazon. So as far as winners go, do both. Uh, there's a lot of advantages to doing both. You can start with Amazon, then focus more on your Shopify or Big Commerce website. So you use Amazon just to test the waters maybe, and then do Shopify or Big Commerce. I think an even more advanced strategy is do both right from the beginning, and there's a lot of value to starting with a Shopify site or a Big Commerce website and you're, you're building up SEO value. The longer your website's been around, the more data you're gonna have, but also the higher up in Google you will rank. If Google sees it's a brand new website, it's much harder to rank high up in Google than if it's been around for a year or two. So I'd say start your Shopify or Big Commerce site right away and start selling on Amazon. If you have a very tight budget, then you can start uh, with Amazon just to test the waters, and then eventually when you make a little bit of money, and it's not really that expensive, it's 30 bucks a month for Shopify or Big Commerce. Once you make a little bit of money, you can start your own website. And, but I do recommend, like I said, doing this right away. So as far as a winner, Shopify, in my opinion, is by far the best. Uh, but you, if you really wanna go with Big Commerce, you can. Like I said, I have a video comparing the two. And then of course, Amazon. There's no reason not to sell on Amazon. All my websites, we sell on Amazon and on our own e-commerce platform. And as a quick bonus, I have links up here and down below in the show notes for a free 14-day trial for both Shopify and Big Commerce both have uh, free 14-day trials. And if you use my links up here or down in the show notes, as a thank you, I will give you a free one-on-one -on -one consulting session. I get a small kickback when people use my, use my links. So as a thank you to anybody that is doing that for me, I give them a free one-on-one 30-minute -on -one consulting session just to help you set up your website. I think it's really important that when you get started, you start off on you get started on the best foot possible. So that is pretty much it for this video. Make sure you click that subscribe button if you enjoyed it. You can get my e-commerce online store success pack up here. It comes with a free e-commerce checklist and I use this every time I start a new business. I'm, in fact, I'm using it right now to start my current business, Performance Nut Butter. So you can get that for free by clicking up here. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below. I answer every single one. So that's it. Click up here to get the success pack, subscribe, leave any questions down below in the comments and thank you for watching this video.